All right, everyone, thanks for joining us this afternoon for our call with Shire Brown. Uh, as always, please raise your hand and I'll call on you to unmute. Uh, we'll start with Rich Garcella. Muted. Hey, Tig, thanks for doing this. Appreciate it. Thank you. Can you describe to us how Zaki? And Keaton have played throughout preseason camp? Uh, they, they've been playing amazing. You know, I'm very proud of them guys. Uh, Zaki Wheatley, you know, making the transfer from both of them actually made the transfer from corner and safety. And you can't even tell the difference right now. Them guys are playing extremely well. They're extremely confident. They know their assignments. And um, they, they've been playing real great for us this camp. Donnie Collins? Hey, Tank, what's up? Hey. Uh, um, what's that transition like? How difficult is that going from corner to safety? You had to do it a few years ago. What, what, what what's the uh, big challenge there for a for a guy who's just trying to kind of get his feet wet at the position? Uh, the biggest challenge is going from seeing one side of the field to seeing the whole field. You know, um, it's just you know at corner you're more you know worried about this side and. Uh, what the route combination is on this side, but at safety, you pretty much have to cover the whole field and worry about, you know, formations and then what routes are coming out of what formations because any route can hurt you at safety, where it's different from corner where you really only have to worry about the two receivers. Ben Jones? Hey, man. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Brent Pry, he's got his first head coaching game on Friday, and he's going up against Ricky Ronnie, so obviously two guys that you're – familiar with how do you watch a game like that if you get the chance to watch it in terms of rooting interest because you know you could kind of go either way at this point well how would I watch that game you know being that them guys you know went against each other in fall camp and they pretty much know each other very very well um I like to see you know who comes out and and bring some new tricks out and some some stuff that they haven't been doing before and, and show you know some different kind of styles. You know, Ricky might run some different kind of styles. Probably might run a different kind of defense. So I'm very excited, you know, to see the the, the chess match between those two guys. Daniel Gallon. Hey, Tig. Uh, out in Indianapolis, you kind of said that, you know, being there from someone who came from your situation, you, you never would have expected it. Um, does getting named team captain kind of fall into that similar category? What was kind of your, your reaction to that? Every every step, every accolade, every you know accomplishment I get, you know, in this stage of my life is 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 very you know surprising and wow to me. Like it's just you know after like I said after going through all that, you know, I never envisioned envisioned you know how I was gonna get here, how I was gonna get done, what kind of stuff I was gonna accomplish. I just knew I was gonna get here one day, but um, I ne I never knew about you know the team captain and all that stuff falling into place as well. And it, I'm very appreciative of everything, you know, because it's like, wow, man, like I've been through a lot as, you know, growing up as a kid and you get to see, you know, how my story un is kind of unfolding. And uh, it's, it's amazing to see. John McGonigal. Yeah, thanks for your time. You know, when you look at uh, the film and you look at Aiden O'Connell specifically, uh, what does he do that, that is really difficult to defend against? What's one thing that you guys are going into this game saying, hey, like, we got to look out for this. We got we to gotta take care of business on the back end when Aiden is doing this or looking for this in, in that offense. Um, he's a very efficient quarterback. You know, um, he throws the ball extremely well. Gets, uh, puts the ball in some tight spots. And, you know, he, uh, he, he pretty makes, he makes you play great defense on the back end. Um, I'm looking for, you know, the challenge. You know, I, 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 me personally, I love going against great quarterbacks. I love to see, you know, what what kind of tricks they got up their sleeve and um, how how they're going to attack me as a safety and uh, and us as a defense. And uh, I'm up for the challenge, and I, I'm I'm waiting to see, you know, what's going on. But Aiden has so much, you know, accuracy, and and he's very patient, and he makes a lot of great throws, you know. So we're definitely going to have to be on our on our defense in the back end. Andrew Callista. Hey, T, thanks for doing this. I uh, just wanted to ask you about the middle linebacker position. Uh, what are your impressions of uh, Tyler and Kobe and how they've handled the defense, especially with it being a new defense under Coach Diaz? Uh, I feel like they handled it extremely well. You know, 
being with, especially at the linebacker position, you know, so much you have, you basically have to be the, the, the captain of the defense, you know, has to control the game from the linebacker position. So for those guys, you know, for them being young guys, you know, and, and being young guys coming into a new system, you know, that's 10 times harder than being a young guy coming into an old system, you know, where you kind of was familiar with it and you can, uh, you know, relate to some things, but it's a whole new system. So those guys have been, you know, early on, you know, they struggle with getting the concepts and stuff, but as of now, they, them guys are on, they look like vets, you know, they're, they're, they're playing good, they're playing fast, they're comfortable, you know, they're not thinking too much. They have the defense down pat and they're and they're going, you know, and I'm proud of those guys. They make it, they made a big step from the spring to the fall camp. Mark Brennan. Tig, uh, James uh, Franklin told us that uh, Drew Aller is a QB two for you guys now. From your side of the ball, what have you seen in terms of his development over the spring and then through summer and in camp? Thanks. You know, so it's, it's it's funny talking about uh, Drew. Uh, when Drew came in, you know, everybody wanted to see what Drew could do. And uh, he pretty much showed us all what he can do early on. You know, his arm is unbelievably talented. Like, he, Drew has an arm. He can sling the ball 60, 70, 80 yards downfield if you want to, probably further. And um, to see him come in as a high school quarterback, you know, at first, he was, you know, trying to get a lot of high schools, trying to see if the high school and college matchup, you know, compare. You know, he was trying a lot of high school things early. But um, now, you know, Drew is, is dialed in. He's looking like a professional quarterback. Um, he's throwing the ball extremely well. He encourages extremely well. Uh, so hats off to Drew. You know, he made a, a big step from the spring. You know, he made a big step from high school to now. Mark Wogenrich. I think you maybe describe the way Sean then has has responded as a sixth year guy. Any plays that he made in training camp that you had to turn around and say, "Hey, good job." Oh yeah, yeah. Sean made some some crazy plays that you like. Yeah, being a year six guy, that them some plays like you just you can't defend. You know, um, he, he he's reading defenses extremely well. Um, his his leadership is is is. Nothing short of amazing, you know. So, Sean has he has been, you know, the guy we expected him to be, you know, coming into the season. As far as you know, having the the offense down pack and making the right reads and just being an all around guy for us, and he's going to do some special things for us this year. Rich Garcella, I see you have your takeaway king shirt on, and I was just wondering. After a full camp with Manny Diaz, what is the potential for takeaways for your defense this season? The potential, I'm sorry, can you say that again? The potential for takeaways. What do you guys have a chance to even make more takeaways than you did last season? Um, yeah, we uh we pride ourselves on takeaways and, and getting the ball back, you know, being under Manny. And um, I can see us definitely having, you know, some more turnovers this season. You know, if the if the cars play out the way we want them to play out, we're definitely gonna gonna have way more takeovers than we did last year. It's been a um, great plan under him. You know, the way he sees football, the way he sees the game. You know, and uh, you know, as long as we capitalize on opportunities when they come our way, I think we'll we'll do a pretty good job at taking over the ball. Donnie Collins. Take what's one way you hope you are better this season than you were last season outside of just, you know, I want more tackles or I want more interceptions. What, what What's what's a, a part of your game that you hope is better this season? Um, I'm going to be a run stopper this season. I need to get me a sack. I always, I always want this. I never got a sack, you know, so that's, that's, that's another goal I got for myself. The personal goal I got for myself this year. I want to be around the ball more closer to the ball. Um, you know, just making plays, you know, that that ordinary safeties, you know, don't make um, and being that 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 old reliable guy, you know, that I know I can be. Joe Smeltzer. So as we head into um, another opening night, uh, what are some is there any memory in particular you have of a first game, whether it be at Penn State at the Juco level in high school or even before that? 
Um, so my first game, uh, actually Wisconsin, that's the my my first opener, if you're talking about openers, um, against Wisconsin, you know, it was an extremely tough game. Uh they played extremely well. Um, but you know, the 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 my favorite memory about that game would be, you know, Brisker's interception. Um you know, just seeing, you know, seeing a guy like that, you know, make a play like that in a special moment, a special time. Um, that'd be like my favorite memory of, of my first, you know, opener game. John Sauber. Tig, how much of takeaways is, is the film study aspect of it and sort of knowing where you need to be and how much is sort of right place, right time and, and a little bit of luck involved? Um, a lot of it goes into film study. You know, uh, I can say about a large percentage goes into film study and then another percentage goes in, the other half of the percentage goes into being in the right place at the right time. But you can't be in the right place in the right time if you don't watch the film and study the film. You, you know, so a lot of the plays that that you see, you know, that safeties make around the country, you know, me personally, I make, it come from film study, you know, and putting myself in a, at the right place at the right time and then make it a play and capitalizing on the play when the opportunity come. Time for a few more. Mark Brennan. Can you give us a little scouting report on KJ Winston? Obviously we haven't seen him, but I'm sure you've seen a lot of him. And just physically, he looks like kind of an imposing uh, safety back there. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, when I first met KJ right away, uh, this guy came in and he just wanted to learn. He was, he was full of, uh, of energy, you know, he's asking me questions. He wanted to compete with me in the sprints. And uh, he just wanted to be the, you know, he wanted to push himself to the limit. You know, he wanted to be tested and uh, stuff like that. You can't coach out of a guy, you know, the guy want to, and his want to is extremely high. Me and KJ got together from when he first got on campus. And, um, you know, we've been rocking with each other, you know, every day since, you know, we still talk to each other all the time. I'm still giving him advice. I'm still teaching him how to, you know, watch film and how to, you know, work around a defense and learn different positions. So um, this guy, he, he's he's extremely talented. You know, he's extremely talented, and his best his best trait is 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 his want to. Like I said, his his want to learn. You know, he wants to be he wants to put himself in the best position possible. You know, to be the best player he can be. You know, so you and and, and that like I said, that stuff you you can't ask more out of a freshman, you know, but uh, his intangibles are great. He, he's probably the tallest safety in the room. And, uh, you know, he, he plays great defense. And he's going, he, he, you might see KJ out there this year as a player for us. Sam Cohn. Hey, Jair, I want to ask about the positional battle at safety opposite yourself. Um, what have you seen from those guys in camp and how do you feel like they're similar? How do you feel like they're different? Um, them guys are, you know, they, they all have a lot of different traits and similar traits too. Uh, a lot of them have stronger strengths than others. Uh, they're they're playing extremely well though collectively, you know, between you know Key and Jalen Reed and and, and Zaki Wheatley. Uh, even K, you can add KJ in there too. You know, those guys are all they all still you know learning from each other, still getting their feet comfortable at the safety position, and um, you know, it's it's, it's a it's a tough battle. You know, because it's going to come down to whoever coach, you know, wants, wants to go with because they all are playing great right now. They all know to play. They all are comfortable and uh, ready to go. Last question, Andrew Callista. Jair, you brought up that Wisconsin game last year as one of the leaders on the team in defense. And James has talked about the depth and with depth comes a lot of young guys. What kind of experiences do you draw on last year's opener in a big game like that and the atmosphere that was created to, to make sure that the young guys know what to expect and not either overhype themselves and just make sure they're, they're locked in 24 seven on this trip. Yeah, that game, you know, like coach, the depth we needed for that game, you know, we didn't have. Um, and it, my, my advice to young guys, you know, is to stay ready, train like a starter you know, prepare your mind like a starter because we had, you know, guys cramping that game, you know, guys, you know, not not at their best physically. And um, you always, when, when it's like that, you always need your younger guys or your, your backups to step in and, and be that, 
that same person and, and make sure there's no, no, nothing left off. The, you know, we, we not just because I come out the game, nothing should stop. You know, the defense should continue to go on how it should. And um, that's, that's, that's my message to the younger guys, you know, is to stay ready, stay prepared and um, train like a starter because you never know what can happen in that game.